It uses lasers to illustrate contour topography. And uh, uh, this was the initial sketch. I just lined a box with mirrors and put stacked laser fields in it, and the mirrors keep reflecting back and forth the laser field, so I get a solid plane of laser light within the box. The idea of it needing to be propagating from all around in the mirrors is I don't get a laser shadow anywhere, so I can pretty much immerse anything I want into the laser field. I get a complete surround of laser. Well, you know when it floods and you see the, the mud line where a flood comes up and drops down? That's a contour, and that's what the laser does. And this was this is built with backyard garage technology, and I can say it happens to work really well. Uh, it was simply created to show the two-dimensional representation of three-dimensional form. Now, I usually have a big Julia Child cooking mirror over this, so from your seated views, you can look up and then straight down into the stew and um, work surprisingly well because that's how architects and engineers, civil engineers, a lot of us read topographic information on maps. We're skyward looking down, the mirror is skyward reflecting down. And um, uh, for a designer like myself, what's really hard to get into students' head is not so much the imagery but feeling the actual three dimensional shape. It's actually quite complicated. It's an intellectual exercise, but once that three-dimensional image kicks into your head, it's pretty easy to understand. I mean, they've got it for the rest of their life. In fact. Once that three-dimensional connection is made to a two-dimensional representation. Well, um, I now use this every year uh, in classroom. It's, it's a standard part of the course. Uh, I've got a number of exercises developed. Uh, but this is showing the mathematics of what we do as architects and engineers and things. And down here, it's illustrating it. I'm doing the math first, and I do, I do that intentionally. I do the hard stuff first for the students. And then we put it in the laser field. Let me back up one real quick. You can see the arc of the shape of the road, and that has, that has a certain geometric signature that's true no matter where you're at in the universe. And, um, and here it is. The lasers are striping, you know. And, um, uh, on a uh, prop that is the section cut of, through a roadway. This is an instructional level device. This one, as I mentioned, is built with backyard garage technology with many more laser fields that are indexable. You know, I can change the contour interval, the relationships. A built-in cooking mirror that collapses down onto the casework. All my props, and, and I failed to mention earlier because I'm going too fast, but I have quite a number of props and canned exercises and things for showing uh, contour relationships, geometry, and um, a three-dimensional vertical axis. And, and they literally see the contours go from jagged like you would see on a mountain to very smooth like we would see out in the front yard here instantly. And that's one of the things I want them to get in their mind is we're sculpting. I mean, yeah, we're using bulldozers and loaders and earth moving equipment, but it is sculpting in three dimensions. So to get that into their head, uh, well, it's a lot of fun, that, and you know, that's why this is here.